What's up guys, we fired up another session of those $30 Hypers. Let's do as good as last time, we play a little bit bigger today. This time I'm on Pokestars.fr, the French stars site, um, and play 30 euro heads ups. I mean, I will see what runs, maybe switch over to Pokestars.com again. But let's see how this one goes. Gonna defend the Queen 8 suited here in the big blind. And quite an interesting flop. I mean, we have a lot of black back to equity, so I don't hate a raise here. But then again, we could just flat. So I flat. I have a lot of like back doors now. Like, I know mana straight draw, I mean back doors <laughs> on the turn. <laughs> Doesn't work that well. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of weird here. We could sham to a bet of this. If you bet something like, yeah, like 80, it's a kind of a weird sizing here. Um, I think I would just fold here because I don't love the jam. Yeah, it's it's kind of a weird spot there on the turn for us. We could have like raised the flop, made it was better. Gonna be checking this flop as well. Not the best turn. Let's just try to get the showdown and beat some random king X. Oh, draw it up with a6. Interesting that he didn't jam that, that he just checked. It's good to know. Not sure if this is a good player or not, but we will find out shortly, hopefully. Decent flop for us. Top pair is always good and heads up. You know, it's basically the nuts all the time. Gonna be checking the turn again. We could lead. Um, but, yeah. I think we want to bet out small here on the river and get some. Maybe we want to bet big here. Something like 105 and wrap something like 10 9 here. And get the car from the check. I think that's not a bad idea. Depends like how much of a thinking player he is. Take it down so we are back to even. Gonna be limping a lot again. I like my post for bachelors and most of these guys. I think we wanna check that board again. I mean the flops haven't been too great besides the queen just now. And just give up. We don't have a club, we just have nothing going for us. I think there's a race, I would just jam this is five. He has done like a lot of min race and we take down their pre a lot if we get caught. We do have a lot of equity, but I do expect him to fold the majority of the time. I'm mm, gonna be calling. Let's see flop. King time flop's really nice. It's a bot that he wants to see better a lot, I think. But he checks it back. So I think like when he checks back a flop like that, he has some kind of showdown value. So we'll definitely go in for some value ourselves. Because I feel he should see better bot with all of his like check A type of hands. So maybe it's something like ace five, ace twos. But he just gives it up on the turn. Interesting. Limp again. <laughs> and jams. All right. So for myself, I will go on the road trip, so you guys will see this video on Monday. Um, I'm already in France at this point, and I will just be there for like three days. So we will have like three heads up hypers for the next couple of days, so, we have guys, so, you, guys, so you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. Um, I will just, you know, just relax and not think too much about poker in the time I'm gone. Um, that's pretty much the strategy. <laughs> Because I've been studying a lot, playing a lot, we're getting ready for the 1k W coup on Thursday. And I feel pretty good at this point, so it's just good for me to take a little break. Man, we're hitting some flops here. And yeah, we'll be back shortly. Mm, we have like two options here, raising, but I don't think we want to raise here. I mean, it's, it's a pretty drawy board. It's, it's, I mean, we could lead the turn here as well. For bets again, I think I would just rip it in his face. Yeah, I think we just want to rip it here. He never he never folds a queen here, and he might even hero us with a 9. So I think a champ is the way to go. Looks bluffy as well, some like 4-6 of spades or so. Not quite sure. I just don't think that he will double very super light here, so he's something like check 10, king check type of hand. Um, or just a queen, which makes a lot of sense here as well. But he folds. Not an expert here on heads up hypers, not gonna lie, but well, we'll see what we can do. Check six off is not a jam here, pretty sure. I have to have put I have to push forward shots up. I have a jam this versus limp. We can be trapping here, no doubt, but we haven't jammed too much versus limps, so I don't think it's super likely for him to do that. Now there's just a bunch of push forward going on. And Queen H definitely hand we wanna push here for ten bigs. Man would be a good win, man. We had a losing day today on the stream as well. I will record these three sessions that you will see right now. And then upload them Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday each. Gonna be check timing this one. 
Gonna be check jamming. Alright, he bets again and we just rip it in. If he has a flush, good for him. If he has a better check, good for him as well. But he folds again. Alright, he's all he's we almost got him, guys. We almost got him. Let's win those 30 euros. Let's hold it. 60%. We just need a fade attack. Or a clap. That's a clap. Too bad we got in as a favorite and I had the first chance of winning this tournament. Uh, like this heads up. Rather. Um didn't work out. So we just gotta go for another one. That's alright though. We'll fold this one. We still in a chip lead, which is crazy. Uh, we've just been playing pretty good, I think. We also hit the boards as well, so... Not sure if he's just bluffing a lot and we got him there with the queen five, but I think it was just a really good flop for us. Gonna be check folding this baby. If I've not suited, we want a limp. I know I could see, like, jam. Ah, no, 15 without an anti, and I think it's great to jam this. Too bad he hit the club then, really, man. Would have been nice to just end this one here. Could check raise this, like, small. I think I will do that. If he bets, like, 30, we raise it up to 90. I think I will put a one bet here, even though the queen is, like, not a great card for us to bet. But, like, every time he doesn't have the queen, we just take it down there, I feel. And the way he checked the flop didn't make me... Uh, like, didn't expect me, me to have... That he has too many fives there. He's jamming, and he takes the chip lead for the first time. But it's been a while since we got some good hands. We got, like... A lot of deuce acts that we need to fold there. King check will be a card though. But he folds. Blinds are going up, man. We are on a really high blind level now. Both sit on like 12 and a half picks. Queen check suited. We will just open jam. We think about it. Alright, we're flipping again. Oh my god, we have so many outs here. Let's get there. Come on. Yes, with the queen. Alright. Alright. All in now automatically because he's so sure. We need to fade a king or three for the win and the four. Boom. There we go, that's 30 bucks right there. Um, I'm down for another one, mate. So we will just straight hop back into it. Don't be too worried about my balance here. This is only my balance on PokerStars FR. Once again, it's a different client than the normal PokerStars game. Right now we are on a 30 euro profit for the session, which is awesome. <laughs> I haven't had too many winning MTTs days recently, so you know, every cent helps, guys. Donate now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, we're going through a rough period here. Um, but you know, I will fight my way through it. I feel like he hasn't been C betting like super light here, but then again, we have like so many backdoor draws that I really want to raise this one. Like just 65 is, is fine, I think. We can bear it again on a king, a club, a need, four. That's a lot of good turns for us. Or we can just take down on the flop. We don't even have to have the best hand for that one. Jam the ace again. I mean, actually, I will flat it this time. Still not quite sure how good jamming is. Um, I've been calling. I think we want to jam like these type of hands if he goes out of line with his races. Oh, he double barrels here again. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I will call him here again. And it's definitely where we want to call. We could even open jam, which is definitely an option. Might want to do that. I mean, he wants to wrap the ace with all his bluffs. That's the kind of the thing. But when we tank like that, I don't, I don't love to check. Nine dues, man. Make a better two pair there on the river. Unlucky for him. We go for another round. We're up 60 euros. Not bad. We're getting a little bit lucky there, man. What a river. But he raised the nine dues, so we will definitely jam the ace for in the future. Just had to get a little sip of water here. Let's go in the third match, guys. Up 60 euros on the session. Not bad. Um, I mean, I kind of want to raise these type of hands because... Oh my god, how many sets did we flop now? Let's get some value here. I mean, this range hits usually his, like this board hits usually his range a little bit more than mine. So the ace is a really bad card because when I race like that, I have a lot of aces in this air in my range. So I think we just want to bet small and extract some value from a five, a four, a six, and a seven. Maybe give him the chance to bluff, but yeah, it's tough to extract more value there. Um, just going to be actually, we could raise this one up to sixty. Um, want to do this a little bit more often. Um, in the early stages of these. Because people are limp folding a lot. You know, they see a hand that they don't want to fold, so they just limp it. So we can just take down pretty a lot. Like hands like that, we could raise up to 60, but since I just did it, I don't want to do it again. Let's defend the check 7. Once again, top pair, man, going a little bit wild here. Gonna be checking the king, it's not a good turn. He has a decent amount of king X in his range. And when he bets like that, it makes a lot of sense as well. With the queen, I'm definitely check folding this river. Hopefully, you just try to bluff on the turn there. But most likely, he just has the king. And he takes it down. 
Yeah, we will limp to 3-5. I will just fold like the bottom 10% of my range or something like that. We don't think folding is too good when your head's up. You need to play a lot of hands. There's like a lot of post flop situations as well in these heads up hypers. Sounds kind of weird, but you gotta like you gotta limp a lot of your range, right? So and people are not raising too much. So you will see a lot of flops. Gonna be defending for three suited here. Decent flop. We saw him raising with like weak hands before. I wanna lead big here on the turn. I think he will he's the type of guy who bets in ten for sure, and an eight most likely. So we just wanna get value from his club draws there on the turn. Man, how sick would it be? If you win this one, man, I would just go for the decline. Just say no. I take the 90 euros, man, and, and appreciate your effort. Decent flop here with an open ender. Once again, we could raise, or we could just call. Last time we made the size and we raised, he folded. Um, so, this time the boss is a little bit different, so I would just call. Because, like, a 10 is not necessarily a great card. So, it's. It's just a weird spot here for me, kind of. I think if you bet like big here, like 70, we would just fold. If you bet something like 20, 40, it's kind of close. We have a little bit of showdown value, even though we don't beat much. Mm, I, th I don't think we want to bluff that river, since we just have that little bit of showdown value versus like ace 10. He had 10 6. He had to draw himself, and yeah, too bad that he hits the 6 as well. <laughs> Yeah, as I, as I said, the 10 is the hand that we, for example, beat. But it's good to get the information there on that hand. Every little bit of information you can get is absolutely key in these heads-up matches. Um, raising here on the flop could be an interesting line. I think we raised it up if you bet 25 again. Yeah, going for the 64 here. Worked out last time. Why shouldn't it work again? The last time you bet that sizing with the 10 6, he didn't have it again. The first time he did the sizing, we raised him, he folded as well. So, so far, like when he bets 25, he didn't have it. Obviously on the spot you could easily have it, but yep, and he has, doesn't have it again. So we have a pretty big sizing read on him right now that I will uh that I'm super happy about. So actually I think we will continue playing versus him. If you know every time you get a read on your opponent, it's it's massive. It's like absolutely great. Especially in these heads up matches. It's gonna be limping the check for suited here. We had the stage where we are like down to fifteen big blinds, so it gets more and, and more into a push and fold game. I will see by this board, just going for the light min click and expect him not to tool out too much. He hasn't been raising us or re raising us at all. He comes in for the flat, I'm just giving up. I think a one and a done is working out pretty often there on the flop. Let's hope he just had like 8 9 for some reason and floated us there and didn't bluff the river for another weird reason. <laughs> we could check jam it here, or like we could jam it versus lead here. But I will just fold for now. It's the first time he did something like that, we give him credit. We haven't been like sea bang too much or anything like that up here. It's been like a pretty like standard and solid heads up match. Besides my little raises there on the flop that we got in. I kind of want to get it like do the raise now and the draw heavy ball like that with the weak check as well. I don't think that's too bad, but you see it, he bets 30. I feel like this is more size towards value. So I would just raise it here and call this all in. I think we want to bet like 77. If he has a check good on him, but he has a lot of draws on his flop as well, so once he chants, you can't really do anything but calling. He has king five, what the hell? It's fate, oh god. Boom! That's another one. Alright. And it's awesome. I mean, we just have the massive read on him. And... We need a four to win this heads up match. Just a four. Not this time. He doubles up and is back at 200. Gonna be snapping here, he's king, come on champ, please. Nice, we got the monster, let's hold. Gonna dominate it. No six, no seven. Ace. God damn it, dude. He's still in the chip lead, man, but he wins two all ins. But you know, we made correct pushes and that's what all that's all that matters. That's all that freaking matters. Gonna be checking the nine deuce. Not the flop we wanna see. We could go for the uh, check raise. I mean last time we did the check raise and he went out wild. We actually had it now. Give it to him though. A queen to suit, it's a close one. I think it plays best as a limp though. We didn't have like any monsters heads up yet that we limped in as well. Gonna be like C betting here, 34. We'll be betting again on the check, an ace and a spade. And the queen we check I think. Ace 4, gotta go in in the middle here. Jamming versus limp, let's hope he's not trapping. Doesn't look like he's trapping otherwise he would have snapped call us. 
I mean, I really want to win three in a row here for 90 euros. That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Jam this as the blinds go up. Nine big blinds. We are flipping slightly ahead. Let's get there. 754. Backdoor clubs. Oh my god, so many outs. Too many outs. It's a thing. Oh my god. How many all-ins did we lose now by them? Like four in a row in this match or three? It's definitely a couple too many. Damn. Damn. Kind of sucks to lose this one, but I would love to continue playing with him. He doesn't seem too great. I want to call you with the queen check, which I have a pretty good hand here for six big blinds. He will call us with any queen and any check. I like a lot of checks. Really nice flop here. Wow, it's going wild, man. This is a sick match. This is a sick battle. Ace three we call. Let's come on, let's take it down here. Let's put an end to this. I mean he doesn't call with any check there, I was wrong, but like a lot of like checks. That's what I wanted to say. Sometimes I say things that I don't really mean because you just, you know, you talk and talk and talk and then sometimes you forget what you're actually talking about and shit. King 9, we got a call here. I don't think he would champ quite correctly, but King 9, King 9 is still too good of a hand to not get in here on preflop. Alright, we got a decent ship lead again. Another king. We're also getting some good hands if we can champ, obviously. So it's a little bit of run good besides all all-ins we lost, obviously. Okay, okay. 2 to 1 chip lead now, king 7, will be a call I'm pretty sure, let's have a quick look at the push forward chart, yep, will be a call for 12.4 big blinds apparently, a6 would be jam ourselves, and we are flipping once more, come on, let's put an end to this, check, oh my god, that is just not fucking real, does this guy ever die, does this guy ever die, holy shit, queen 7 man, this is a really close one now, I mean we sit on 9 bigs, I gotta cheat here, queen 7 off, for 8 bigs you can call, we gonna fold this one with our edge. I also think he doesn't jam Nash, he jams a little bit tighter than most people, or than you should. 5 4 we gotta fold, let's hope he limps it or just folds it. Nice, that's a really important fold here for us. 10 6 off, we can't jam. Holy shit, 3 for suited we will not call either, I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite sure when you how to call like zero connectors like that, yeah you should never ever call them, you should jam them yourselves. So I suspect it as well. Queen 4 we go in now. Though. And he folds. What a long heads up match, man. That might be the longest we had so far. Holy moly, man. I can't believe that we couldn't manage to close this one out yet. We had so many good opportunities, man. Now he just wakes up with kings. But there's always an ace. There's always an ace, guys. If you watch the video, you know that there's always an ace. There's one thing you can always trust in. Oh, holy moly, man, what is this heads up match? I've never made it to the 30-60 level. <laughs> Queen 9, we got a call here now. He limps it. Hopefully he's not trapping. But we are in the gym lead again. <laughs> oh my god, champing this here for six big blinds, just hoping for a fold, and there's the fold. What the fuck is this madness? Snapping here with the ace. We have a dominate, let's hold. Hold it. No diamond, no king, no five. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Wait, what up? how is he not dying? Come on, queen 10, we get in. This guy, man. Oh my god, how does he survive all the time? No three. Hold. Hold. Yes, what is this head savage? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. Holy shit. Not gonna call this, baby. Wow. Wow, ace 5, easy jam. What is this heads up? <laughs> ace 6, you snap a man. Come on, get it in, dude. Let's, let's put an end to this. Let's put an end to this. Alright, no check, no 9, come on. Oh my god, ace. Diamond. No. <laughs> what? What? Not like this. No, no. Alright, king, queen, easy all in here. He chance a little bit quicker than usual. Alright, come on, King Queen. Not like this. No, what the fuck? How do we lose this one? How do we lose? Holy fuck, guys, that was a wild episode. Be sure to check out the stream highlights from yesterday and don't forget to subscribe. I'm back tomorrow for another series of these Heads Up Hypers. I hope you enjoy them. Good luck at the tables.